it's gorgeous and it's, I mean, it's a huge part of Milwaukee life. That without even leaving the, the Milwaukee County, you're going to have lots of different experiences. The lake itself is, is beautiful. Just to be able to see a sunrise over the lake is something that everyone should experience. Like, there's so many lakes and things like that, so I like, I like cycling. So I can hop on my bike around the lake. I can you know, go out to the surrounding areas. Uh, this is a beautiful state. There's becoming more and more and more of a push in the city to be fun. What they're, what they're gonna have is a, very, is a very unique and diverse and rich experience. Yeah, the psychology department at the Behavioral Health Division has long supported the training of psychology interns, psychology postdoctoral fellows, and psychology practicum students. Um, in particular, the uh, postdoctoral fellowship program began about five years ago now with the development of these two positions and again the opportunity to to really set up a situation where we could benefit from the additional help and support by fellows and in turn provide that training opportunity here in Wisconsin such that we can continue to train that next generation of psychologists. I think it's so important both from the standpoint of developing future psychologists here in this community as well as making sure that our staff uh, stays fresh and up to date with what is the best practices. So what we're able to provide for fellows is this broad experience that they're able to see a lot of individuals in different contexts and different situations. So whether it's in that immediate crisis situation, or whether it's in the stabilization period, or whether it's in um, the, the post-crisis uh, period of, of reintegration back within the community supports, psychology fellows are able to touch on each one of those areas and really gain great clinical experience in, in a variety of ways. One thing that surprised me that I think is really rewarding was uh, working with the wraparound program. I didn't, I didn't, once again, not from here, so I didn't really know what the wraparound program is or how unique it is. There aren't many programs like that in the country. It surprised me how much, how, how integrated, how they, they strive to integrate all their systems, like, you know, between inpatient to crisis teams to care coordinating and things like that. Uh, I think that's what surprised me about BHD is that they really, really try to wrap around the, their patients. They try to provide support at every angle, you know, whether they're inpatient, whether they're in the community, whether they're in school. The level, the level of supervision that, that you get here is, is, is amazing, the second to none. Um, each rotation has a different supervisor with, with a different, with a different um, supervisory style and support. Um, but, but also that, also that it has, that it offers you a level of independence too as a practitioner to really do, do your own thing and really pave your own way with that support in place as well. I would say the postdoc training is, I think it's a really good experience. You get lots of different, you get your, you know, you get to have lots of different experiences. You get to work with kids, you get to work with adults. You're gonna work some inpatient, you're gonna do some mobile team. You definitely, by the time you're done, are going to be well-versed in risk assessment and crisis intervention. We, you know, at our hospital, we get the patients that the other ho the other private psychiatric hospitals aren't interested in trying to treat because they're tough. Um, and that's a great experience when you're learning. Some of them don't seem necessarily like they've taken on the skills that would really help them, but just to sit with them and listen to understand what it is that they're trying to do, uh, allowing them to just go through their stories is a huge part about being a psychologist, knowing that you're helping somebody that's got tough going trying to make it work as best that they can, but you're letting them have their experience and you're sitting with them. I think the probably most rewarding thing is when somebody does tell you that they've started to practice some of those skills that they that they've decided to really work for themselves, and you start to see them make the games that they want. You know, I think it's probably the fact that, um, like, I've met a lot of really stellar people who bust their humps doing this work. Um, and it can be very challenging because people are very sick at very high needs and it can be very discouraging. And, and we have um, people, I think, who work at BHD are, are aware of that. And, and they're certainly not immune to it and they still show up and continue to bust their humps every single day. And not that I thought that they wouldn't, but I am 
still surprised by the amount of dedication people show to what is a really can be a really challenging job. You know. I think the thing that strikes me about BHD is the commitment that everybody has to the work. People are drawn to the work, and then they really want to stay and continue to do that work because it does feel, at the end of the day, no matter how difficult, no matter how many challenges you have that day, at the end of the day, you still feel good about the work that you do. Everything that, that a large city has, um, with, with the culture and the beauty, and, 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 and the, the I guess the has a home, has a small town, I guess charm to it. I'm not from Milwaukee. I'm not from the Midwest. I'm from Maryland, Rouse State, DC. Born and raised. Went to school there, masters there, undergrad there. And one thing I like about Milwaukee is that you, you get the city, but it's a slower, uh, slower pace of life. I think that this is a, a piece of Milwaukee and the Midwest in general that's really unique to the Midwest. It's, it's our passion for sports. And I think it's a wonderful place to be for anybody. It's got a lot of opportunities, but it doesn't feel so big like some of the bigger cities in the U.S. There's so much to do. I mean, there's so much to do with families, and it's an affordable place to live. It has lots of natural resources, but there's a ton of fun things to do. Fun stuff to do, even, you know, in the winter months when people tend to hunker down, we will still find people doing outdoor activities, like winter walks, you know, down trails and things like that. So, so that, I don't know if it's a surprise so much, but it's, it's definitely something that I like about the city. Mm -hmm.